But sometimes I don't want to be moist. $30 would have been pushing shit uphill, to be honest with you. Mm. Just peeling lips, there's moisture balls everywhere. I know my skin is fucked up and I need to do something about it and I don't want to spend a million dollars, so what am I going to use? G'day guys, welcome to Yena Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today I'm going to do a empties for you. Um, I'm going to be doing empties from January and February uh, this year, 2022. And there's not much in there guys really. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram, I posted about this in my stories uh, yesterday, I believe it was. Um, I don't get out a lot at the moment and I'm also not purchasing as much as I did because of COVID. Um, so yeah, my empties are probably going to be two monthly at the moment unless something drastically changes. But anyway, yeah, let's just get into the video. Huh? Uh, just want to mention, quick disclaimer, it's the weekend, the kids are home, there could be noise everywhere that I can't quite edit out, especially if I'm talking at the time. Possibly diabetic alarms, you know, it is what it is. I hope you can get through that. Um, but I thought I'd start off first with talking about something that's not actually beauty related, it's more household. But I enjoyed it so much that I wanted to add it to this. Because uh, I didn't want you guys to miss out on something that I thought was particularly special. And that is this room spray. It's from Botanica. It is the Caribbean Vetiver and Sandalwood. I don't know if I said that right, to be honest with you. Um, it's a room spray and it smells phenomenal. Oops, that's a bit noisy. I don't think I can take the lid off properly. Hang on, here I can. It is delightful. In fact, if I could get this in a candle... I would burn it. I can't even explain to you what that smell is. Um, I don't know. I know what sandalwood smells like, but I don't know what the other thing smells like. I just know. Oh, that's loud. I just know that it is lovely and it's earthy and I really enjoy it. Like this lasted quite some time and I sprayed this into everything. I sprayed it through the room. I sprayed it into my couches. I sprayed it into my carpet. It's amazing. I love it. And I'm going to get some more if I can't. I got this at Woolworths. Um, I don't know if they still sell it there, but yeah, this is, I'm going to look more into that vetiver or whatever it is, that scent, and see um, if that's what I can smell, because if that's the scent that I can smell, amazing. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this, and I'm going to get it again, so let's move on. The next thing, uh, you wouldn't be surprised if you watched my videos, is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Soothing Body Wash. This stuff is phenomenal. My partner uses this more than I do now. I mean, I don't get me wrong, I love it, but I love using other things as well. So uh, we do have another bottle of this, and this is going to be an ongoing thing until he finds something else that he loves just as much. But, I mean, it's got um, little black things in here. I don't even know what it is. Um, whatever it is, it's a, it gently exfoliates your skin, um, and it smells really, really good. So... Get some. The next thing I want to talk to you about is the hair dye that I have at the moment. You're probably not going to be able to tell, but in natural sunlight, it like booms. Anyway, this is Swap's Cough, Swap's Cough and um, this is the Brilliance Permanent Hair Color. Now, normally I use the um, Napro Live uh, wash rinses, whatever they are, and they're not supposed to last in your hair very long, but they do with mine. But this time, this color actually caught my eye, not the actual brand. And to be honest with you, they only show like a light blonde, mid dark blonde and a medium blonde um, on this to use saying that that's what would work on and I have deep brown hair so I didn't really think that it was going to show up that much. I just thought it was going to give my hair a nice sort of tinge, a nice gloss but um, after I washed my hair out and dried it it was just like bam and then when the sun hit it the next day it was like yeah. This stuff is good. I really really enjoyed it. Uh, the colour is burgundy chick and um, look I mean I, I actually don't really think that I mean, it's got a hint of burgundy, but to me, it's it's got a hint of, I don't know, like this kind of cherry um, plum. Like, it's got a, it's got a real good tinge of, um, of purple in it, more so than red. So, um, I, I do enjoy it. Um, yeah, I think it's nice. And I think I'm going to try some other colours from this brand in the future. I don't dye my hair very often, um, but... It was nice. I liked it and I definitely will repurchase it, but I'm going to try a different shade. So, Then we have the Olay, Ol Olay Henriksen. Oh my gosh, my brain and my mouth today, I swear. This is the Lemonade Soothing Scrub. This was recommended by Teresa Is Dead. I've got wispies flying around the room. This was recommended by Teresa Is Dead and I generally love everything that she um, recommends. And look... I do like this. Um, I'm, I'm not going to shit all over it. It is a great product. Like, what it did to my skin was great. Um, I The smell, I thought that I would love it more than I did um, because it is a lemonade or a lemon sort of scent. I love uh, citrus things. 
It's got, well, it's an exfoliator. It's got AHAs and, um, and lemon peel extract. And I use this everywhere but my face. And I enjoyed it, but, you know, <laughs> this is just a sample size. I did buy the sample size because, to be honest with you, the full size is expensive. Like, if I recall, it's $40. And this doesn't go a long way. This does not go a long way. And so, in comparison to similar tubes of stuff that I've seen, I can't even remember some of the other brands that I've used before that I would compare this to. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, I could probably have picked up a different brand of something similar to this for like $12, $15. $40, I think, is too much for this product. I like it, but I don't love it. Um, and so I, I won't be repurchasing this again purely for the price. I think the product is fabulous, and if you don't have a problem with price, go for it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Smells good. Uh, could smell better. I personally think that this could have been way better than it was. Um... But the product is great. I liked it. I really enjoyed it. And I think it's effective. Well, it was to me anyway. I'm just not going to pay that much. I'm not. Um, I would rather have something else that works just as well as this that smells different. Yeah? You get me? Um, yeah. No way. No way. No way. If, if, like, it, $20. I could have done $20. $30 would have been pushing shit uphill, to be honest with you. But $40? Um, like I said, it's, it's slightly bigger, but really not that much bigger. I mean... I, I used this in a week, um, and I wasn't even using it, to be honest, all over my body. I used this on my elbows, on my knees, um, and oh, and a little bit on the back of my arms. I didn't go full body, um, so the fact that I, <laughs> yeah, let's move on. The next thing that I have is from The Ordinary. This is the Marine Hyaluronics. I love this stuff, but because I'm changing my... Um, my skincare routine, I'm probably not going to repurchase this one right now because I want to put a um, vitamin C serum in my morning routine um, to coincide with the retinol that I have in my evening routine. Um, and I also have uh, the buffet serum in my morning routine as well. And I want to add a um, face oil at the evening time to go with my moisturizer and my retinol. So there's really... If I buy this, it's just one extra thing that I'm adding on and I don't think that I'm going to need it. Um, my skin has been loving the combination that I'm using at the moment with the retinol and um, the buffet serum and my regular moisturizers, etc, etc. Anyway. So I like this. I think it's really, really nice um, if you just wanted to use like a basic serum um, and you didn't want that sticky hyaluronic one because they do have a hyaluronic um, serum. Uh, but I, I, I find it just a little bit sticky. This is more water-based, uh, or at least that's what it feels like. It, it doesn't leave that sticky residue. I just like this a little bit better than the hyaluronic acid one. So, um, very good product. I'll probably use it in the future, but right now I, I want to test other things out. So this one, this one won't be back in my stash for quite some time. Let's move on. The other thing that I've got is this Palmer's... It's hair all over it. This Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Facial Cleansing Oil. Now what I wanted to explain to you about this is that I handed this down to my stepdaughter. Uh, not because I don't like it, not because it's not effective, I just have things that I like better. So look, this is this is an effective um, cleansing oil. It will take makeup off, but not as gentle as I want it to, not as quickly as I want it to, and um, yeah. That's pretty much it. The price is fine, but I've used products products in the past that are the same price that work faster um, and are nicer. They've been discontinued though, and I'm using a product right now that is more expensive than this, but overall I would rather spend the extra money on that than I would buy this. So yeah, if you need something, this will work. It's just I... I the less I'm messing with my face, the better for me, as far as I'm concerned. And this I just have to work into my skin more than I do with other products that I'm using right now. And I'm just not here for that. So it works. It's cheap. Get it if you can't get anything else. And I probably would if I couldn't get a hold of the stuff that I like more. But <laughs> let's move on. This is the Aveeno Active Naturals Dermexa Moisturizing Cream. This stuff... This is the kind of stuff that you look like, this is not like luxury where you like, you put it on and you feel pampered. This is like, I know my skin is fucked up and I need to do something about it and I don't want to spend a million dollars, so what am I going to use? This. 
Right, so what <laughs> this is specifically helps like with eczema, and it's fragrance free, it's cortisone free, um, it's got no lanolins or dyes. Um, it, yeah, it's suitable for eczema prone skin. It relieves itching and sore and dry skin. This stuff is great. Now, what I will tell you about this is a little does go a long way, and this will make your skin feel refreshed, like that cool feeling. Um, it, hmm, how do I explain this? It won't feel like um, like when you put it on, it won't feel like it's um, cooling like a, an aloe vera spray or something like that. But it has this thing where once it's absorbed into your skin, you just feel cooler. I don't know. I don't know. It's like magic. Anyway, what I will say about this that some people might not like is that your skin will feel moist for hours after you put it on. I put this on when I go to bed. I slather myself in this. I love this stuff, right? Um, but sometimes I don't want to be moist. Um, <laughs> sometimes I don't want to feel like that. Um, it's not sticky. It's just moist. Um, hmm. But I love this. I'll actually use this more so in winter and I'll put it all on and then I'll let it absorb a little bit for a little while and then I'll wrap myself up in a cocoon and a blanket and sleep. <laughs> um, so I do like this and I will repurchase this again. I think it's great. It's also great for kids. Um, I just, I love it. I love it. Definitely recommend. But like I said, if you don't like your skin to be moist, um, yeah, this is not the one that I would recommend for you. But it is very, very lovely and it does, your skin just drinks it. So... Mm -hmm. It's cheap too. Let's move on. The next thing I have is this moisturizer by Natio. It's a daily defense moisturizer with SPF 50 plus. Um, obviously this is a sample, but it was a generous sample and um, I, I got well, about, about two weeks use out of it. So um, only of an evening, I only use this one of an evening. Now, look, I don't mind it, but what I found was it pilled on my skin if I was to touch my skin a little bit too much so um, I don't know whether that was just because of this alone or because of the other products that I had on my face but I just knew that once I put everything on my face I couldn't go touching otherwise I'd end up mm, just peeling this moisture balls everywhere so um, yeah I mean I don't I don't think I would go out and get this um, I think that if I wanted a moisturizer um, for the morning and I was going to be in the sun I would I would just put moisturizer on and then I'd put an SPF 50 sunscreen on so yeah <laughs> let's move on on the other hand I have another moisturizer here this is nude by nature moisture daily moisturizing lotion this is another sample but it was a very generous sample and the little does go a long way and I thought this was wonderful this made my face feel fabulous and it's one that I definitely would uh, recommend or definitely would buy again if I ran out of the moisturizer that I had and I couldn't get it um, I do enjoy the moisturizer that I have, but I like this just as much and my skin felt great. So I don't know how much this is. I'll, I'll do my research and probably do it on the screen somewhere for you. Um, but yeah, this was lovely. Let's move on. The next thing, and it's got so much left over, but I refuse to use it. This is by 40 Fathoms. This is the Skin Regenerator Eye Cream. This is terrible um, for me anyway. I hated this. Um, and let me see. Yeah, like... It's just, I don't know, there was something about this. I don't think this was effective for me. Um, it took a while to absorb in. I just didn't like it. I just didn't feel like I was getting anything out of this and um, I am going to waste it and I'm going to throw it away. Um, I didn't pay for it, so to speak. It came in a ballot box. Well, I guess I did pay for it, didn't I? Because I paid for the ballot box. But, I mean, it, it's nice to try, but it just wasn't for me. And so I'm going to pass on this one and throw this away. Uh, I think that it's probably near its expiry date anyway. Yeah, it's coming up to July. Um, I've had this for a long time because I wanted to give it a few goes. I wanted to, you know, um, see whether maybe I was using it wrong or give my skin some time. But I just don't feel like it was doing anything, guys. So, mm. Let's move on. Um, oof, the next three things, I'm not going to say that I absolutely love, to be honest with you. This is the Acure Hydrating, Hi Ultra Hydrating Shampoo. This was a recommendation on TikTok. I know, I shouldn't be taking recommendations off TikTok, but I know nothing about hair. Um, <laughs> and I kind of just, I wanted a shampoo that didn't look so oily all the time. Like, I don't know, I can't seem to, I can't seem to find that perfect balance. My hair either looks really, really dry or really, really oily and heavy. And so, um, they said that this was one of the better shampoos to use and they were dissing a whole bunch of other shampoos that I'd used in the past that said was bad for your hair. So I thought I'd give it a go. 
when I first got it, uh, I opened it, I squeezed it in my hand, and I'm like, oh, what's that smell? And it took me a while to realize that it smells much like a pink starburst, um, you know, the lollies. And uh, I thought, oh, cool. You know, I liked it to start off with, but then when I started massaging it in my hair and it started becoming sickly, and I'm like, I'm not so sure about this. Like, I didn't want to go back and use it, but I did push through and I continued to use it. And I really didn't see anything different with this shampoo than I did with any of the other shampoos that I've used in my past, so I was very, very disappointed. Um, I, obviously, it's just not for me. Um, maybe it works for other people, but this one doesn't work for me, and I won't be repurchasing this one in the future. The next thing I have is this um, L'Oreal Paris Revitalift uh, Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It's just a little sample. It was enough for me to get a, a good feel of it. Um, Look, I don't hate this, but I don't love it either. And, and, you know, to be honest with you, when it comes to skincare with a brand like L'Oreal that I kind of think to myself is more makeup, um, I don't trust um, that anything that they're going to bring out for skincare is really going to be good for me. But I did try it, and I didn't hate it. I just like other things better. So, um, yeah, I won't be repurchasing this one in the future, but there's nothing wrong with it. I just, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure how I feel about hyaluronic acid or any um, skincare stuff from uh, L'Oreal. That's just my preference though. The last thing that I have were these uh, eye gels from the brand Miss K Skin that I recently got in um, my February Bella Box and I was so excited. I love eye gels. Um, so pretty much as soon as I got my box, I whipped it open and I went to go and slap them on and I was thoroughly disappointed. I have to tell you, and I don't mean to be mean to the brand, I don't know whether it was just maybe mm, I got a bad batch or whatever, but these were the worst eye gels that I've ever used. Um, breaks my heart to say that. Right, so the first problem I had when I was getting them out, um, everything looked great. Like, it's got its own packaging, it's got packaging inside that hold the tray that holds the gels. Check, check, you know, all good. But when I was trying to get the gels out, they were stuck together. So they had a piece of the same material that it's made out of and they were stuck together and I had to pretty much tear them apart. Fine. But then when I went to go and put them on my eyes, I felt something different with the texture in comparison to all the other eye gels that I've ever had um, in the past. And that was a really weird texture. I don't know if you've ever had jelly that's been made wrong, um, where it's they've put too much gelatine in and it's chunky. Um, it felt like this, like it, it wasn't smooth, like the majority of it was smooth, but there was bits where I was up around the edges and stuff like that, that, that felt really, really weird. Like it just, like they messed up the formula. I don't know, but it was weird. And um, when I put it on my skin, the next problem that I had was it didn't want to stick to my skin. Like there was enough moisture in it, but it didn't want to sort of like suction on. And, and that's a problem because um, you know, they, 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 it wasn't a sliding problem where they had too much. It, they just did not want to seal or stick to the skin. Um, so I sort of had to sit there with my head back just a little bit. And the next problem I had after that, within about two or three minutes of wearing them, I started to feel a burn. Um, and it wasn't a slight tingle, guys. Massive difference between a slight tingle and a burn. This was a burn that I knew that if I didn't get them off, I was going to have some issues. So, uh, I had to take them off. Um. I thought they were cute, they had little stars in them, um, you, there was just too much wrong for them, they just, they were not for me, and um, obviously my skin didn't like them, I think I got them off in time that I didn't end up having some serious issues, um, but yeah, I just, I didn't like them unfortunately, and I'm so disappointed because, yeah, I was really looking forward to trying them on, and, um, but what I do like about it is, as I say with all of the Bella Box things that I tell you guys about, it's a sample and I pay a fraction of the price that I would if I was to buy everything brand new and um, means that I don't have to waste my money on paying full price for things. So I tried it, I didn't like it, it saved me money, I can't complain. So um, I hope that everything that I had spoken to you about in these video guys is helpful in some way, shape or form, whether it's to save your skin from drama, like irritant... Um, eye gels or whether it's to save your money on things that cost a freaking fortune who knows if you got something out of it i'm very happy and i really do look forward to seeing you guys in my next video which fingers crossed will be the new makeup nonsense bingo that i do with my co-host dan and until then see you guys